Welcome back everyone, I'm Infinite Potatoes and today we are going over Rey. I'll be overviewing her abilities, her strong points and weaknesses, and guiding you through her abilities and interchangeable star cards, or also known as ability modifiers. Rey, the scavenger from Jakku. She's equipped with three abilities and her primary weapon, Luke Old's lightsaber. She also has 750 base health, which can be increased by other buffing characters such as Yoda. Remember, anything I mention in this video is subject to change. And also, I'll have timestamps in the description so you can make your way through this video easier. But I'd suggest watching the whole thing because you might learn something new. Ray's lightsaber. The mechanics of the lightsaber in this game have drastically changed since Battlefront 1 and I believe, for the better. Before in battle from 2015, the lightsaber swinging was a primary attack for lightsaber wielders, and it was unlimited. It was pretty much who could spam the lightsaber the fastest to win. Here is two big changes for the lightsaber combat. One, it's not just a lightsaber swing anymore, instead, it's a combo with punches and kicks making it more realistic and fluid. These combos also have a cooldown which stops the spam fest in battles. This improved combat system leads to greater battles and strategy involved when fighting. Ray's fighting style is a lot of light and quick hits in a short succession, making it very easy to overheat your combo but able to deal a ton of damage. Anyways, let's get into our abilities. Ray's right ability is the dash strike. Ray dashes forward with her lightsaber ahead of her and eliminates any enemies getting in her way. This ability is the only ability that actually does damage. The insight and mind control abilities don't do any damage. So remember when you're using this ability that those are your backup abilities. Her middle ability is insight. Ray uses the force to see her opponents in a nearby radius, and it even goes through walls. This ability is pretty much the scam falls of the first game. It is extremely useful. And her last and right ability is arguably the best ability in the game, the mind control. When activated, enemies nearby have their controllers inverted, leading to extreme confusion and falling off of edges. Now I'll move on to the strategies on how to work each one of these abilities effectively. But the first big tip I want to throw on the table is that Rey, like many of the heroes, are defensive. Which means they can't just push into a group of 10 enemies like Maul and not lose any health. Characters like Rey are more strategic than that. Her dash strike, it can get you in and out of different situations. But when used with her other abilities or her combo primary attack, she can deal a ton of damage. One combo I like to do is first wait behind the wall, use the inside ability to see where the enemies are, then use her force jump by holding down the jump button, then mind controlling the enemies once I hit the ground. From there you have a few options. This is where you can choose, of course it's dependent on your situation, but if you think you can take on all the enemies, go for it. Use her primary attack and bounce off of enemy to enemy, then use the dash strike as a retreat. Also, if your dash strike passes up your enemy and you want to stop the ability, all you have to do is slide left or right, and it should cancel the ability. So really, the main theme here is wait. Whether in Heroes vs. Villains, or Galactic Assault, you just have to wait for the right moment. In HVV, also known as Heroes vs. Villains, the Mind Trick ability is literally going to be a lifesaver. You can use it defensively and offensively. If you need to retreat, you can use it, and they won't be able to follow you. Or, you can rush into battle, and if they're near a cliff or an edge, you can easily get them to fall off the edge. For those who are new to Rey in Battlefront 2, feel free to stick around your team, because even if you don't get the most kills out of it, you could still run around and use the mind trick, the enemies. Which really is useful. Rey is someone not to mess with when in the right hands. Personally, she is my favorite lightsaber wielder in Battlefront 2, being able to pack a punch. But not just a punch, 
but a strategic punch that actually helps the team out. You can also check out all her abilities in the collection screen at home. You can see the different ability modifiers. I'll quickly scroll through them so you can get the idea. Here's a card named Farsight. If you have Farsight equipped, it increases the area of effect for the Insight ability. Or Deep Mind. It makes the Mind Trick have a longer duration on enemies that are marked by the Insight ability. So this kind of brings back those combos I was mentioning earlier. You should go through all these cards and see which ones fit your playstyle best. I'd definitely invest in buying some of these abilities with crafting cards, because they really do make your hero better overall. If you have any tips you know that I didn't mention in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments section to help each other out. I also have other guides on my channel. So feel free to check those out and learn some things you might not have known before. Last thing, if this video helped, please drop a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe for more Battlefront 2 guides, tutorials, tips, and live streams. I'm Infinite Potatoes, and I'll see you in the next video.